Hello guys, Keep Rice on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can get to 100 likes. And if you are a Birmingham City fan that's been watching the videos the past 28 days and are not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? This is the only blues channel on YouTube that provides you daily blues content. And we're, we're going to be covering every sing, single bit of transfer news this summer. So yeah, make sure you don't miss out on any Blues news and drop a sub because we are on, we're on now 2,638. So we're getting towards, um, well, we're slowly getting towards 2,700. The road to 3K is on. Let's see if we can get 3K by mid-September. That is the goal. So yeah, make sure if you're a Blues fan, watch smash that subscribe button. But yeah. This is my second time doing this video because the first time I did it, I actually uploaded it and then I watched it back. Um, a couple, of, well, I watched the first couple of seconds of it and um, yeah, the sound wasn't working, so I had to do like an up, like an update on my phone, and now it's it's working now. So yeah, we're gonna be talking about the Birmingham City takeover in today's video. So there's been no transfer news today, so we're gonna be talking about this. Um, we're gonna be diving into it. So John Eustace uh, sets his own expectations for Tom Wagner's Birmingham City takeover. As we know, the Birmingham City takeover will happen this time next week. So John Eustace, uh, John Eustace sorry, is eagerly anticipating a formal meeting uh, with prospective new owner, uh, new Birmingham City owner Tom Wagner. After brief conversations in the last two months, it was announced on May the 8th, yep. Yeah, we know we already know that. So what uh, Wagner <laughs> will be able to implement his own ideas and plans after taking control of the club next week. At that point, Eustace hopes to sit down with the American and discuss his vision for Blues. Of course, once he is uh, officially the new Blues owner, then I, I think that's when you know they could have a meeting and that. Um, I've had brief conversations, said Eustace. We haven't really been able to sit down and nail things out. I think that will happen as soon as he's. Um, New owner, like I said, there's a lot going on at the football club at the moment. I would like to think they are trusting me to get on with my side of it. And when the time is right, I'm sure we'll sit down and bang out the plan for the future. So, John Eustace, look, Tom Wagner's gonna be the new blues owner. John Eustace, this is gonna be oh, yeah, it's one year, it's one year um, today as well that uh, John Eustace. Well, one year ago today, sorry, that John Eustace was appointed the Birmingham City manager. And it's this is going to be his second full season at the football club. Um, which is rare to see, to be fair, because normally a manager only lasts like one season and then gets fired or leaves because they're not backed. But look, John Eustace, uh, this season coming up, is he going to be under pressure? Look, there was reports um, a couple of weeks ago that John Eustace could be moving to Swansea to be the new Swansea City manager. There was reports that uh, Tom Wagner could potentially sack John Eustace, that could still happen. Who knows what will happen? Is he going to sack John Eustace? Because there's there's, a, there's always a history, isn't there? When a new owner comes in, they want, that, they want their own man. But I don't think John Eustace will be sacked. But I think Tom Wagner is going to be expecting um, a better season than we had last season. And yes, in terms of um, the previous season that we had the last season, it was a good season. You know, we all didn't hardly... Well, we hardly had any relegation fears. Finished in 17th in the championship. Um, yes, we did well last season. Um, like I said, compared to the seasons that we had previously, where the last couple of games of the season, we were still within a chance of relegation. Sometimes the last day. Well, that happened a couple of times, didn't it? Under the under um, B, um, BSHL, um, we were in a relegation battle and we had to survive. Um, I think it was like three times that we had to, uh, to survive, sorry, on the final day. Look, next season, I think mid-table will, mid will be an absolutely brilliant, brilliant achievement. Um, say like an 11th, 12th place finish. If we finish 17th and 18th again, look, we brought in that um, Japanese winger, um, Wayoshi, I, I think. I believe, I, I always, I don't know why I completely forget his name. We brought in Tyler Roberts, who I think is a better striker than Scott Hogan in my opinion I mean yeah I mean surely does anyone actually disagree with that um, and then we brought in um, Ethan Laird who um, is he going to be a better well is he a better player as it stands than Maxine Collin 
Look, I think he's going to become a better player at right back than Maxine Collin um, was. Um, for us, even though he was an, a he was he wasn't a con uh, he was a consistent player. Sorry, for us at that right back uh, spot, we brought in Kevin Long, we brought in Christian Bielik, who them two players were last season, and um, expect more incomings as well. We're looking to get Saya Sanderson. Sorry, we had a bid rejected for him, but I think look, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, isn't it, next season? Because are we are we officially back as a football club? We know FFP has um, kind of, you know, kind of got on our way um, in, a, in a way because, you know, we can't really splash the cash to say. Um, but it's going to be interesting to see what happens the season after next season because next season, if we finish mid-table, I think his job is going to be... Um, I think his job's going to be safe, but it's all about the season after next season. We have to be challenging for promotion. And I think, can John Eustace get us challenging for promotion? Yes, his first couple of months in charge of the football club, the first six months or so, he had us touching the playoffs. But we've, we've dropped off and we finished 17th. My worry is, look, We'll see what happens. Let's just say that. We'll see what happens. But I'm expecting... Uh, I, I could see John Eustace getting sacked by Tom Wagner if we have a season like we did last season and say finish 17th, 18th position. It all depends what players we bring in as well, to be fair. But anyway, it's been Keep us on TV here. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can get 100 likes. And as I said, if you're a Blues fan and have been watching the videos... What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Anyway, keep on time.